Good day, fellows. I am Ruth Camper, and it is my pleasure to introduce to you Connie Wanberg as a new member of the Academy of Management Fellows Group. Connie is a professor and industrial relations faculty excellence chair in the Department of Work and Organizations at Carlson School of Management in the University of Minnesota. I first met Connie almost 30 years ago in Minnesota. At that time, little was known about the predictors of faster employment and the challenges that face job seekers. Connie's careful and cumulative empirical work, her repeated use of powerful, large-scale, field-based research designs, and her ability to develop innovative tools for practitioner use has been repeatedly recognized by scholarly awards from the Academy of Management Human Resource Division and from SIOP. Connie's pioneering work forged the way for the development of the field and created new knowledge that addressed questions such as what factors and search methods predict search success, to what extent do job seekers change and persist in job search over time? What challenges do job seekers experience during the job search? And what interventions help job seekers find good and jo uh, jobs faster? Building on this foundation, Connie further also advanced the field by addressing theoretical questions and the role of contextual variables in the rapidly changing world of work. Connie's work is also integrative, frequently merging psychological with economic and sociological perspectives. For example, she recently conducted a cross-cultural study in three countries. Results illustrated that the relationship between higher levels of unemployment generosity could be connected to the optimality of job outcomes providing the first large-scale empirical illustration available of the psychological mechanisms involved. Connie links theory to practice. Her work has informed public policy and human resource management decision makers and influenced many thousands of job seekers in Minnesota, throughout the United States, and in other countries. Few people realize how difficult doing work in this area is. Participants are typically, typically people who have recently experienced a significant negative life event and who are understandably on edge and often emotional. Delineating the search behaviors, thoughts, and affects that differentiate people in this situation and experience in real time and how these things relate to job search and mental health is not just societally important, but often personally difficult for participants to relate. Connie's work depicting the experience of unemployment and its psychological and physical impacts has been crucial in the development of more effective real world interventions to help people. Indeed, Connie and her colleagues are currently engaged in the development and evaluation of a multi-pronged intervention that can be used at scale. From theory to implementation, Connie has developed measures and conducted ethical research that has and continues to make a difference. I would be remiss if I did not mention Connie's second related stream of research on careers. Again, Connie's rigorous empirical approach to modern workplace problems such as mentoring has offered new insights to the field. She significantly advanced the development of best practices in the area of job transitions and career development. So you might think that living in the frigid north and with all of her scholarly contributions and service, Connie has little spare time. Well, you would be wrong. Connie is avid about the outdoors as well as taking care of the environment. Her main hobby is cycling. Her proudest cycling moment was placing third female in a 90 mile mixed gender road race with an average of 26 miles per hour. That was five years ago. Since then, she has downscaled her riding and only rode 4,600 miles in the last year. 
In the summer, she typically at work by 7 or 7.30 in the morning, so she can be out riding by 4 or 4.30. She also loves to hike and during COVID tried to get out whenever possible. And of course, Connie likes to spend time with her family. Her daughter and daughter-in-law are both in medical school at the University of Minnesota, and her son is taking the MCAT this fall and plans to apply to medical school. I don't know if their dog, Summer, has any graduate school plans at present. So, in summary, we wish to thank you, Connie, for your many impactful contributions to the science and practice of managing human work and to welcome you to the fellows group. Thank you.